what is up everyone it is john here with more i racing and in this video i am going to uh help uh people get around dover now kind of a disclaimer here you know results may vary when it comes to how well you uh, do do to what i say to do but also your mind i'm not the best there's probably a lot more better people out there but I will give you the general concept of how to get around Dover. So let's hop in into the Chevy Camaro in the Cup Series. I think a lot of people tend to want to do the uh, Cup Series just a little bit more. So let's, uh, let's take it easy through here, the three and four. Onto the gas here. So here when you go into turn number one, the truck, the car's just gonna really bound out in the corner. Wanna be about half throttle to three quarters and then about full coming off. You're gonna have a lot of grip for a while, but then as you get laps onto your tires, it will definitely uh, go away. Same thing here, off, little break, quarter. To a half and then three quarters to full off the corner uh, it will try to kick out on some corners for a while when you first start out but then throughout the run it's gonna get tighter so be careful on that don't uh, try to overdrive it too much uh, getting back to throw too early because it may want to spin you out initially and then get tight once you start making more runs here so there, there it's already starting to get tight it's just after a few laps but just kind of want to take it easy fill the car out obviously uh, you want to make sure that uh, you don't drive wheel drive going in because then you have to make up all that difference coming out you'll be too slow 22.7 just nice and easy through the corner You don't necessarily even have to hit the brakes, but sometimes uh, just to feel comfortable, tapping your brake wouldn't be a bad thing. Don't push it too hard. Just a nice tap. You see my uh, right side there, not even a quarter uh, pressure on the uh, brake. Just help stabilize it. Fill out the car. It's going to start getting loose and more and more. Eventually, it will swing to the tight side. Definitely you get a lot more tighter off four than two initially uh, Eventually both uh, turns two and four will be tight uh, right here. It's more loose right now uh, This package is the low downforce package Don't mind that uh, Is low downforce package with the 750 horsepower, so you got a lot of power behind you don't be afraid to, you know, wait on the car. I know a lot of people think you should just mash the gas and just try to keep going as fast as you can. But after a while, especially on concrete surface, uh, the rubber's going to build up a, a lot, and then eventually you're just going to be sliding around. So just make sure you save your tires as best you can, and the best of the ability you can, and uh, you should be fine. 23.15. Quickly to the garage area. This is a fixed setup. Most likely, like, most likely people do fixed fix setups. Uh, I set my steering ratio to 14 to 1. Uh, go ahead and play with this. Everybody has their different comfort zone on uh, how much steering they want. Uh, the lower the number, the quicker it goes. Uh, the higher the number, uh, the slower the steering uh, ratio goes. So I set mine at 14 to 1. Uh, some people can tie it 10 um, uh, Even 12 or somewhere around there. I wouldn't try eight. I think I'd be too quick um, But around here 
is good uh it's defaultly i think set to 12 to 1 some people will prefer a little bit slower here um want to add more will input uh but some people can handle 10 at least so play around with it it will uh help you in the long run by helping your steering ratio out there i set my brake bias to 62 you could probably even mess with that um you don't use too much brake early but after you get into a long run you may have to use the brake a little bit more to slow it down uh but again just keep playing with it keep practicing testing and see what the best settings are for you uh, but that is all you can really mess with on a fixed setup you can't mess with anything else here i uh, won't allow you so uh definitely just make sure uh, when you mess with this uh you do go out and practice don't just jump into a race and go oh, i'll set it to like 10 to 1 because you all of a sudden uh, you, you'll definitely see the difference and you're not prepared for it. So definitely test, practice, and uh, you should be good to go. Uh, guys, that will do it for this one. And if you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want me to do more of this, comment below and consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.